It's Showtime Boxing presents undefeated Austin Trout taking on Saul Canelo Alvarez for the WBC WBO in ring super welterweight championships. Boy, what a big fight for Showtime. There's a lot of stars in, in attendance at the fight. Miguel Angel Cotto was in the fight. Wow, I can't even say Cotto's name right now. Uh, Two-time Super Bowl champion Ray Lewis. NBA champion Tony Parker. Steve Nash. Uh, no, not Steve Nash. Uh, NBA champion Metal Roll Peace and uh, Los Angeles Lakers star Dwight Howard were in the house tonight. They were looking forward to this big, big, big boxing fight between Sa Saul Canelo Alvarez and Austin Trout. I was looking forward to this fight. I, like, in all honesty, I was, like, wondering when was this fight taking place, you know. There's been a lot of fights, you know, going on, especially in MMA and boxing as of late. So, I didn't know when this fight was taking place. And then I saw a commercial today, and I was really excited. And I'm happy I watched this fight. I, I thoroughly enjoyed Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Austin Trout, both undefeated. Now, I was kind of rooting for Austin Trout because Austin Trout seems to have this resume where he goes into a place... It's a tough place for him to win, but yet, 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 he always finds a way to win the fight. So I was kind of like, you know, I'm going with Austin Trout here. I think he's going to win this fight. Uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, 22 years old, 40 and 0, you know, very, very great young fighter. You know, under the Golden Boy brand, you know, he's following Oscar De La Hoya. They're in Texas. You know, some stuff happened in Texas that's kind of controversial. But hey, you know what? Let's get these two fighters going. But before I start, you know, talking about the fight itself, uh, go check out my UFC recap if you're an MMA fan that I did earlier tonight. UFC on Fox 7 was earlier tonight, and it featured Gilbert Melendez taking on UFC lightweight champion Benson Henderson for the title, and the debut of Daniel Cormier taking on Frank Mir, and I recapped those fights. So if you want more fight recaps from me, go check out my previous video. But anyways, let's get started with this. So the first Four rounds, I would say, were pretty much equal. Like, a lot of people said, you know, well, Canelo landed the power shots, but Trout was more of the busier fighter, which you you did kind of see early on. And then the, the one key aspect that I thought was going to affect later rounds of this fight was how Trout was landing a lot of majority body shots. And this right here, I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe Trout's onto something here with the body shots. We go into the fifth and sixth rounds. Now, the fifth and sixth rounds... I almost called them the Canelo rounds. I really thought Canelo looked really, really bright in these rounds. Oh, wait. Was it the... No, because he got... Oh, yeah. My mistake. Fifth round, I gave to Canelo. Sixth round, Trout pretty much looked really good in this round. And he pretty much was doing the same technique he was doing the whole fight. Fainting the little jab, you know, kind of trying to waste Canelo's head movements a little bit. And then afterwards, going for either a body shot or a straight right. But... Trout looked really, really good in this round. It was kind of almost like, you know, wow, you know, what is Canelo doing? Canelo's not really looking that good in this round. So it was kind of like Canelo took a round off. And sometimes boxers do do this. They take a round off, but they really don't want to waste energy. And especially when you're like Canelo Alvarez, who is a really strong power, power puncher, you don't want to waste too much energy, especially heading into late rounds. At the start of the seventh round, though, this was when, like, the fight pretty much changed its complexity. So... At the start, Trout was doing his little, you know, fake jab thing. All of a sudden, Canelo comes, bam, right there, right hook to the face. Trout goes to down to the ground. He gets up. You know, Trout has a strong-ass chin. This guy can take some shots, people. And so he went down. He didn't seem phased by it. He winked at Canelo. He said, all right, let's go, baby. And the funny thing was, Canelo, you know, he was wasting a lot of energy trying to just finish Trout. But in the end, in the end, you know, Trout looked like the better fighter near the end of the round. So this round was kind of interesting. I mean, some people judge it on a 10-8, or some people may have given it just a 10-9 just because of how strong Trout came back near the end. So this fight really, really was, you know, very, very close. But after the 8th round, which was kind of like a toss-up round, like most of the fight was, uh, the WBC rules is the corners are allowed to know what the scorecards are. And one of the judges pretty much, you know, had the scorecard where, Trout was getting his ass kicked. He was losing 80 to 71. The other two judges, you know, they have, you know, really, really close fights. But that one judge with the 80 to 71 really, really did a bad job judging this fight, in my personal opinion. That 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 is too high for this type of fight. It's so close. 80 71. Are you are you off your rocker? And so, you know, this led to the commentators uh, talking about, you know, oh, controversy in Texas. 
And so pretty much after that, Austin Trout started to get more aggressive. And when you're getting aggressive against a guy like Canelo, you're playing into his hand. I mean, Canelo knows the score of the cards. He already knows these cards. He's like Austin Trout. They, they hear, each corner gets to hear the score of the cards. Canelo took round nine pretty much off. Good, did well in round 10 to win that round. Round 11, like you could say he kind of took it off a little bit. And then round 12, he pretty much won. And Canelo goes on to become the undisputed champion. Now, was Canelo the deserving winner here? I would say, yeah, he was. Uh, he had more stronger rounds, in my personal opinion, later on in the fight, especially that knockdown did help him. Trout, though, I don't think he, lo he lost in as bad as the judges' scorecards made it out to be. I felt that this was a really close fight. It could have gone either way. Uh, but Austin Trout is no longer undefeated. The young Sayu Cornell Alvarez is still undefeated. Your new Reen, WBO, and WBC uh, welter super welterweight champion. He's a very talented fighter, especially at the age of 22. Um, he's, he's a guy that likes to fight a lot. You know, this, this was his longest layoff leading up to the Trout fight. Like, he took 247 days, I believe, which is the longest layout he's ever had in his career before this Trout fight, you know. So, uh, this was a very interesting fight. I really did enjoy it. If you haven't seen this fight, try to find a replay on Showtime or Showtime 2. Uh, Showtime, if you guys own DirecTV, as you can see behind me, I have a DirecTV box, so I can tell you the channels for Showtime if you missed it. Uh, the channel for Showtime is 545, and then pretty much Everything after 545 to, I want to say, around 556 is pretty much all Showtime channels. Uh, Showtime Extreme may have the replay on there. But check this fight out. This fight was actually really good, very entertaining. Uh, round 7 was a great round. I could be mixed up on my rounds because I was really entertained with this fight. It could be round 7 and round 8. That was really good. But uh, Sal Canelo Alvarez retained uh, his title and won two new titles. So congratulations to Sal Canelo Alvarez. Great fight. Check it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this fight video, subscribe by clicking the little icon down below or right here or down below. Sorry about that. Check out my previous video, my UFC video that I did earlier tonight. <coughs> also, make sure you guys like this video if you liked me. Comment down below your thoughts on the fight and follow me on Twitter at ChaseOliver68. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a good Saturday night and a good 420. Yeah, I didn't forget today was 420. Anyways, see y'all later. Peace!